a women's bantamweight matchup between Sarah McMahon and Betch Cohen. so hard I mean you look at the videos the videos are all out there and you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag landing the high kicks the body kicks it's it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is she's so aggressive in her approach she's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand as we can, how she can be okay when she's under the rest as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packs some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have thrown that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, six losses, and one draw. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Campina Grande, Pereira, Brazil, Beth Pitbull Correa. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler. Holding a professional record of 13 wins, six losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Gaffney, South Carolina, Sarah McMahon. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. All right, so here we go, one of the better strikers in this division. She is facing one of the better grapplers this division has ever seen. Pretty straightforward as to what you expect both of these fighters to do here. I expect them to follow the game plan that got them to the show. You don't get cute in these situations. Right, right. You don't get cute in these situations. You rely on what got you here. If you're a great grappler, get close. Make contact, use your trips and throws to get the fight to the mat. If you're the striker, you need to be at distance. She has to maintain space so that she can time a counter and hopefully end the night of this fantastic grappler. Well, to no one's surprise, she chooses to engage in the clinch here early on. And you know, she can go for days. She can do this for 15, 25 minutes a week. She can do this all day. She can fight this position all day. So for her and her corner, they're very excited about where we are right now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, she connects with a right hand. She loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's gonna go to sleep. And potentially a critical takedown here. McMahon's able to transition back to side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, McMahon's back to the side control now. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by McMahon. 20 seconds left. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of oh, punishing oh. ground and pound, and this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. She defends another takedown. She knew her defensive wrestling would be tested tonight. It has certainly held up. A-plus on the test to this point. She is doing a great job of just really recognizing where the takedowns are coming from, recognizing the level changes, and beating her opponent to the next position. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the pin. Now goes in and secures the takedown. She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's going for. McMahon's back in half guard. Very comfortable here. And they both stand up. Great punch landed with so much power. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. I would call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 51 total strikes, not thrown, but landed for Sarah McMahon tonight. And landing at a pretty good clip here tonight. 58% the accuracy rate against Betch Kohei. Kohei's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Again, huge elbow there. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh! oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's going to have to work hard defensively to prevent the finish. Well, she's got to protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's got to really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. And then start to work. Try to get to your base and get back to your feet. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's McMahon's trying for the Kimura submission here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, saved by the 
bell round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly, surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done, but we moved forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. You ready to fight? Ready. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, start to work the body. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Kohea gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Outstanding output on both sides. She heard that. saw the shot coming they oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight well there she is man did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout near perfect execution and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute nine seconds of round number three declaring the winner by knockout well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard-pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot.